What's up, Saiyan Army? Welcome to the video. So today we got a new clan transformation video for you guys. As always, before we get into it, shout out to my client Aiden for allowing me to share his transformation and his journey with you guys. Secondly, we're gonna do something a little bit different with this video, and that is, I'm gonna challenge you guys. I upload these videos every single month. So once a month, about every four weeks, I upload one of these videos. And I wanna challenge you guys in this video to comment down below a health and fitness goal that you absolutely need to accomplish, that you need to hit in the next four weeks. Write it down, comment it down below. And if you wanna take it a step further, write it down and put it up on your wall. Yes, I've read the studies about how, you know, writing these things on your wall and putting up in front of you, they don't work because you see it all the time. But that's the same thing that I did to get my channel where it is today. I remember when I wrote 50,000 subscribers on this channel when I first started it and I put it right up on the wall. No, I didn't look at it every single day, but every time I did look at it, it motivated me and it made me remember that I need to stay on track. I need to stay on my game. For those of you guys who might write it up and put it up on the wall and then you just forget about it, and you know you look at it again and it just doesn't have the same effect chances are you just didn't want it bad enough so i'm gonna challenge you guys take two minutes write down a goal in the comment section because in one month when i upload my next transformation we're gonna do the same thing and you can look back at the previous video and we can see who stayed accountable and who didn't any one of you guys watching this video two to three months of consistent and just laser focus on your goal will change a lot of your lives for the rest of your life and prolong a lot of your lives as well. I'm sorry for the long rant in the beginning of the video. This is just something I wanted to do and something that I thought can help a lot of you guys. So do me a favor, just comment it down below and let's get into the video. So a little background on my client Aiden. He is 19 years old. He is six feet tall. He's been training for two years consistently and he started at 167 pounds. His goal was to get shredded, get abs for the first time and just recomp. So he wanted to do it slowly, build some muscle along the way and that's exactly what we did. We also put him on a version of my Saiyan Power Building program. You guys can download that at SaiyanArmy.com. And I also asked Aiden if he had anything to share with you guys, and this is what he had to say. Throughout most of my life, I was a bit of a heavier kid. I got made fun of a lot when I was in high school, which messed with my body image a ton. I started to work out because I wanted to make a change and feel good about myself. I've worked out for probably six years now, but never really had any sort of plan of action, always jumping from one thing to another. This is the first time in my entire life that I've actually felt proud of how I look. I think what kept me going was knowing that if others could do it, then so could I. So short and sweet, but a very powerful message that a lot of you guys can relate to, a lot of my current clients can relate to as well. And you know, it's as simple as that. Whoever puts in the work gets the results. That's how it goes. Yes, everyone's genetics and body types may be different, but it doesn't matter. If you guys put in the work, you guys will get the results. Also, here's Aiden starting pictures. As you can see, he has some decent muscle built. He has a decent physique. However, he's just not exactly where he wants to be. So let's get into it. Week one, macros, 325 carbs, 60 fats, and 180 grams of proteins. Cardio was one session at 300 calories. That's low intensity steady state cardio. New average weight was 165.6 pounds. That's about a 1.4 pound drop from his starting weight, which was 167. Here's his week one pictures. As you can see, everything looks pretty much exactly the same, which is all good and to be expected. And for those of you guys wondering, although Aiden's been training for six years, only two years were consistent. Just like people go on roller coaster diets, people go on roller coaster training cycles, meaning they train for three months, they take three months off. They train for three months, take three months off. And at the end of the day, they end up just spinning their wheels and no change is made. They end up looking exactly the same as when they started, maybe slightly better. But you know, when you take three months off, you lose all that progress and you spend the next three months regaining all that progress that you lost just to be in the same place. So like I mentioned in every single transformation video and for those guys who've been watching it, know what I'm gonna say, consistency is key. Week two, 
macros, 325 carbs, 60 fats, and 180 grams of proteins. Cardio, two sessions at 300 calories, so we increase cardio by one session. New average weight was 166.4 pounds, so he gained actually 0.8 pounds in week two. Here's his week two pictures. Physique looks pretty much exactly the same. If you're nitpicky, maybe he looks slightly leaner, but yeah, week two pictures look pretty much the same. As always, we're just building that consistency and just letting him acclimate to the program. Also from here on out, we're gonna be skipping every other week. We're gonna be doing weeks four, six, and eight just for time sake. However, all the macros and cardio and all the information will be on the screen for you guys to follow along. Week four, macros, 300 carbs, 55 fats, and 180 grams of protein. Cardio was two sessions at 300 calories, stayed exactly the same. New average low weight was 162.2 pounds. So this was almost a three pound drop from the previous week, which is all good. Here's his week four pictures. Abs are coming in. Lighting, I think, is pretty much exactly the same. He's standing in the same spot. I'm not sure if it's closer or further, but abs are coming in. His arms are looking more full. His back is actually looking wider. The V taper is actually looking better. There's more definition coming from the side. Arms are looking better as well. And that's as simple as body recon is is just optimizing someone's training and diet and just building that consistency and even though we're staying in a small deficit and losing fat you can build muscle throughout if you optimize your training and your diet week six macros 300 carbs 55 fats 180 grams of proteins cardio stayed the same two sessions at 300 calories cardio doesn't change for the rest of the transformation new average low weight was 161.5 pounds it was actually exactly the same as the previous week which is all good like i said as long as his physique is looking better and yes the muscle that we're recomping as well is going to add to his body weight so even though he's dropping fat slowly he is building muscle which is which can offset it as well which is why the pictures are very helpful so here's his week six pictures body's just looking even better again abs are coming in even more his arms are looking better triceps and shoulders definitely made some progress i mean when you're losing fat on your arms your arms will look bigger regardless just because you know you get more definition it makes it look bigger back looking better definitely more definition uh width kind of stays the same it's a different angle so it's a little harder to see the back from the side his shoulders are popping triceps are coming out and just his overall physique is just looking a lot better just looking a lot fuller and that's exactly what we're trying to do also, here's his lifts that I forgot to talk about in the beginning. His squat before we started was 295 pounds, deadlift 250, and bench was 175 pounds. At the end of the video, he did send me some updates, so we'll go through that as well. Just to show you guys where he's currently at in his lifts and his progress. Week eight, the final week. 300 carbs, 55 fats, and 180 grams of proteins. Cardio, two sessions, 300 calories. New average low weight was 157.8 pounds. So that's another pretty much a two pound drop from week seven. Here's his week eight pictures. As you can see, this is the only picture where he's actually flexing, which is all good because he looks great and he deserves it. But yeah, abs are in looking great. Back is looking good. I mean, you can see a big difference, especially now that he's flexing his back. He's tensing it up. You can see a lot of that definition. You can see his rhomboids coming through. You can see the thickness and the lats popping from the side. Shoulders looking cap, tricep looking good. And just compared to his before pictures looking, he looks so much better. He definitely recomped a lot of muscle and you know, we were able to keep his calories very high. Yes, he's still young, so his metabolism is revving really high, but he's made some solid progress, and that's always the goal whenever, with all, every single client of mine, is to diet them on as much calories as possible because more food is better than less. Anyways, here's Aiden's updated lifts. So before his squat was 295, right now he's squatting 370. This was the only video where I thought his form was still a little bit shaky. And just like any 
anyone that goes for any PRs or one rep maxes, it's not gonna be the prettiest thing ever. You know, that's why you usually go for the PR, then you back off and you start building up your strength so the next time you hit it, you know, you'll kill it the next time. Anytime you go to a powerlifting meet, you know, their form isn't gonna be perfect whenever you're going for a one rep max. Also, just to critique his form a little bit for you guys and for Aiden as well, um, his squat, yes, his depth was a little bit high. I would work on, you know, some hip mobility. I would stretch out his hips a little bit more, have him do some more hips, some hip mobility work maybe two to three times a week. Um, and just focus on just staying more upright. You can see the bar, how he dips just a little bit in the beginning of the lift. Ideally, what you want is a squat to the bar pad to be just straight up and down. So as you can see, it comes slightly forward. So yeah, just work on that hip mobility and just staying more upright. Maybe tighten your back and lats a little bit more. He could also try to bring in his grip width as well, which you know by default helps tighten up your upper back while you're squatting. Here's his deadlift. His deadlift started at 250. This is his deadlift at 405. And in my opinion, it looks clean as hell. It looks good. Back isn't rounding, not even his upper back looks rounded. I mean, it's not the best angle, but it looks super clean and he killed it. So good flipping job. Bench started at 175 pounds. Here he is benching 225 pounds. And also shout out to his spotter for not touching the bar. He came super close to touching it, but didn't touch it. I know people like Tehran always have that problem when he's benching 500 and people grab the bar. Don't touch it. And that goes for all you guys watching. Whenever you guys spot someone, don't touch it unless you absolutely have to. Whenever I'm spotting anyone, I don't touch the bar unless it's unless it's going down. But if I feel like it's stuck and they can grind it out, then just let them grind. The only critique that I got for the bench would be um, just to add a little bit more leg drive in there. I mean, his legs kind of look more, more or less relaxed and they don't look engaged in the lift. And if your legs don't aren't engaged when you're benching, then you're not benching as much as you probably could. So yeah, just work on your setup a little bit more, tighten up those legs, get that a little bit more leg drive in there. All right, so closing out this video, I just want to touch on something that Aiden said, and that is for the first time in his life, he is proud of the way he looks. And I think that's just so damn powerful. There's so many people in this world and some of you guys may be watching this video that look in the mirror and just aren't proud of what you see. And I see it all the time, especially with my clients. I get so many clients that send me their progress or they send that send me their starting pictures, just like Aiden did. And they're like, damn, I didn't know I look like that. And that's because they haven't looked in the mirror or taken a picture of themselves in that long. At least taking a picture of themselves, you know, shirtless and vulnerable. So something that I just want you guys to understand is that you guys don't need to be shredded like Goku. You guys don't have to look like these big natty Instagram influencers. You guys don't have to look like a superhero. Just look just be the best you. The number one tip I can give you guys that are beginning your journey is don't compare yourself to anyone else. Don't aim to look like anyone else because everyone's body and genetics are gonna be totally different. You know, a lot of you guys are gonna train for these next eight weeks and you guys might build more muscle than Aiden. You guys might look better than Aiden. Some of you guys might look worse, but who cares? It doesn't matter because everyone's journey is unique and different and it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you're making progress. No matter how slow or fast you go, progress is all that matters. They have that quote about, you know, don't worry about how slow you're going, just be worried about staying still. Okay, when you stay still, that's when you stay stagnant and you get comfortable and that's when you should be afraid. Even if you don't see physical progress in the mirror, you take pictures, if, if you don't see any progress, a lot of these transformations, you don't see progress until, you know, after weeks four, six, eight, something like this. It takes a while, depending on the person. So if the scale's moving in the right direction, and even if you don't, you're not seeing physical changes yet, don't worry about it, just stay consistent. Even if you, the scale's not moving, if you're seeing progress in the gym, if you're seeing any type of progress, that's all that matters, okay? Especially don't compare yourself to these four week quick cut, like summer shred things where they just, you know, drop their calories and increase their cardio as much as they can to make them, you know, lose weight as fast as possible because that's not sustainable, that's not healthy, that's just BS. So anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below. I challenge every single one of you guys, drop a comment, leave your goal. And in these next four weeks, in this next month, when I see you guys again in my next transformation video, 
I hope a lot of you guys have hit those goals. And if not, at least made a ton of progress since then. I'm passionate about you guys making progress. I'm passionate about helping people and changing lives. And I really hope these videos are helping you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. For online coaching, for those guys who may want that little extra push, I will be reopening spots very, very soon. So shoot me an email, gogoflex at gmail.com for programs, sayinarmy.com, saying recon book dropping very, very soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, strength and honor. Aloha.